Tony, def uh, defeat today at Stoke City. What was your take on the game? Well, I, I felt we we were below par, to be honest. Um, started both halves pretty poorly. Uh, suffered, suffered. You know, they did the score inside ten minutes in the first half and inside two minutes in the second half. Um, grew into both halves, but not enough. You know, we have to. I, I do try to look for reasons. I've, I've had a long chat with them there. At, um, you know, I, I, we we didn't have the team back. We, we in the eye of a storm. Storm. Bar bet we've been trying to train it um, for two days. It's it's not ideal, and so probably there's a reason why the fluency of the team wasn't quite where it is. If you picture eight or nine players going away and all having different ideas of how their coaches want to play and what their jobs are and how they play, and then they have to come back in one or two training sessions and get it all back up to speed. It was it looked like we weren't fully assured of what our jobs were on the pitch at times today. Um, so frustrating, disappointed. I do think we created enough chances not to lose the game, but um, ah, there you go. We have to we have to take it on the chin. It's not easy, but um, we're all disappointed. I, I, I genuinely feel we have a better team over overall than Stoke, and we have to come to these places and win football matches. And um, we didn't manage to do it today, which is frustrating. You mentioned you had that long conversation with them after the game. Is that? Are those down to you know lessons that are from games like this today? Yeah, I suppose so. Listen, that we we told them before the game what was coming. They, they know how Stoke play. Um, we have to be ready. I think talent allied with intensity, power, physical commitment makes winning teams. And um, we just fell a little bit short, in my view, on the on the, um, the physical aspect of the game. And early on in both games, it was almost as if. They needed a kick up the backside before they got going, and, and that kick up the backside was the goal that we conceded in both halves. But um, yeah, it's it's just frustrating because you know it's my job is to give them a kick up the backside. If I feel I've said to you many times, sometimes certain players need a slap before they go out, and it felt a bit like that today. Um, and yet, listen, they they showed in spells what a good football team we are and how we can damage teams. Um, we could have scored two or three today, but hit the post, headed over in the six yard line when he looked like an open goal. Abdullah in the side netting in the first half when he's through one on one with the goalie. Um, chances were there, it wasn't to be, and we have to take it on the chin and move on. Pierre Equa made his return to the side today. How did you feel he went in after you know his recent injury troubles? Yeah, all right, and I asked him not to, you know, Pierre still got um, Ice and 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 uh, hot water bottles and stuff all over his injury and his thigh. He's, he's, he's I think you know whatever it's been five or six weeks. It's a long time. It, um, I think he lost his man in the box for the second goal. It's it's frustration. But how did he do? He did fine. He's a tidy football. He keeps the ball moving for us. I just he's he's one of the guys I would tell you that I have to give him a slap before he starts really. And and I felt that they found a little bit of extra intensity starting both halves above us which cost us a chance for a quick turnaround on Tuesday night against obviously as a side in Leicester City who are who are of course yeah. going to be a tough task yeah of course it's, it's, it's an, let's hope it's the, the type of game we want let's hope their uh, mentality is like when we went to Burnley last year really team running away with the league and um, and showed what a good outfit we can be and, and the intensity we can play at and the um, and how we, we have to go to, to Leicester and try and throw some punches at them, really, and make sure that they feel that our, our attacking players are going to be a threat. And um, yeah, looking forward to the game. Let's wait and see how good they are. It's we um, we understand they've got a lot of Premier League quality from last year, and they're on an amazing run of winning football matches. But um, we should go there and try and show how good we can be on our best days.